Now, this seems to have gathered around 1.5 million views. Uh, people are very vocal about this. Um, it represents Juliet from uh, a new upcoming production, uh, exactly as uh, Shakespeare has envisioned it. And uh, people don't really like it. And in order to explain why people don't really like it, uh, I, I think uh, an accurate comparison with anime would be in order. Now, when I hear about a new anime being made, almost always... It's not due to controversy. It's uh, either the character design is really interesting or the universe is fascinating or the world building is sublime. And that's what causes people to talk about anime and recommend it to others. But when you look at Western productions nowadays, um, it's usually something that you already know. right? So in this case, it's Romeo and Juliet. Like everyone knows Romeo and Juliet. It, it's not something new. It doesn't require almost any creativity. Like, like, they already know that their writers lack the talent in order to make a new universe that would attract people. So they're trying to be safe. They're, they're basically saying, well, everyone knows Romeo and Juliet. It's, it's an established franchise. So, you know, we, we don't think we're capable in bringing butts on seats if we create something new. So at least we're going to take something that already exists. And, you know, it's going to drag some people to it just because of the brand. Now, now after they do that, um, they also realize, okay, well, we need to have some controversy in order for people to discuss. Because, again, like, they do not have the confidence that their writers are capable of writing something interesting that would get people to click, right? That would get people to talk about the franchise. So what they do is, like, they race swap or they gender swap. And again, notice how anime doesn't do this. China doesn't do this. Bollywood doesn't do this. America didn't used to do this. Like, this is just modern stuff. And when you say that wokeness is destroying entertainment, this is what people are talking about. Like, there is something that hasn't been done up until this point. And it has been done now. And we can actually notice that it's being done poorly. That more people are tuning out that you have studios downsizing, that you have people getting fired, and they keep doing it, right? So, like, just taking IPs, taking stuff that has already been made just to disrespect them. And ironically, I said this before, this is like vampiric capitalism, where you have Hollywood just taking stuff that used to be popular and has a franchise just to bleed it dry, J just to milk the customer out of money, and then they move on to the next thing. Like, if I have something that's called Halo, I expect that when I see the movie, it is loyal to the franchise. It is loyal to the IP. If I go and I see Lord of the Rings, I expect that it's loyal to that. But but they don't do that, right? Like, they just bait and switch. They're like, hey, you, you get to see Lord of the Rings, but it's actually Rings of Power plus Privilege. And, and, and they keep doing this nonstop, all the time, right? And... Um, in, in this particular situation, like, okay, they, they want to make Romeo and Juliet. I, I don't even think people are really that interested in Romeo and Juliet today. But fine. Whatever. You know, it can actually even work with the race swapping. Like, you can have two families. One family that's white. And they're upstanding Democrats. You know, the pillars of the community. Like, like for instance, uh, Joe Biden's family, right? And, and they're white. And then you have like a black family from the the lower classes of America, the underbelly. Like, like you have some individuals that live on welfare and they're also Democrat voters, but they live in a ghetto. And you have again like, like this child from Joe Biden's family like falling in love with this black girl, right? And his family would be against it. Like, that would also be interesting, because, like, they're Democrats, they're, they're promoting all the Black Lives Matter and stuff, but, like, not in their backyard, you know? Uh, because the left loves politics, I've been told. They, they absolutely love politics in movies, so here you go. I'm sure the left would, would love current day in Romeo and Juliet, right? But you know they're not going to do this. You, you know that, because that would actually sell. Like, that would actually make people think and would be like, wow, that's, that's an interesting twist. That, that's an interesting take, especially if you do it well. Right? And not to mention, it's relatable. Like, you have a lot of politicians that claim they care about minorities and claim they love diversity. 
until it happens in their backyard. And when it happens in their backyard, you notice that, oh, they were luxury beliefs. Right, so that would be one way, but but they're not going to do that. Um, instead, what, what, what I also notice, and this is what most people are complaining, and I have subscribers that live in Africa. Like, I have a subscriber that lives in uh, South Africa, another subscriber that lives in Ghana, and we talked about American cinematography, and they all told me the same stuff. They, they told me that back in the 90s, they were looking at Hollywood, and they were taken aback by how beautiful the black actors were. Like, like they were having black actors on the big screen that were more beautiful than any girl that they seen in their life, despite the fact that they live in a black majority nation, right? Because that, that was, like, the thing back then. It was, if you're making entertainment, if it's not cool, if it's not sexy... Or if it doesn't make people feel sad, then what's the point, right? So, so those are like the three things in order to sell tickets. And China still does it. South Korea does it. Anime does it. The West doesn't do it anymore. Instead, you have this immersion breaking thing where they cast an actress that looks like this, which, you know, is fine. But you would expect Romeo to also be in the same league. Right? You, you would expect Romeo to be a fat guy with pimples or something, right? So, so that... It makes sense why this love story would take place. But no, apparently Romeo is going to be Tom fucking Holland. Like one of the most desirable men on the planet, right? Everyone knows who Tom Holland is. Everyone, like like all the women are salivating and they're like, oh my God, Tom Holland. Duh, 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 duh. And, and this is Juliet, right? Like, like, do you want me to actually believe that at the end of the movie, Tom Holland is going to self-delete? Over Julia. Like, he can have literally all the women in the world, but he picks her. Now, now of course, you know, you can uh, make the argument that Tom Holland, unlike all the other men, he is different, right? He sees the beauty inside her. But, but I have a feeling that based on Hollywood writers and what they've created up until now, whenever you have, like, this woke production, chances are she's not going to have much beauty inside her either. The character, usually... Um, is going to be like Tila from He-Man, or is going to be like uh, the invincible girlfriend, you know, these uh, self-centered individuals that are me, 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 I deserve, I deserve, the Zoomer mentality that, that feminism has created, and they're not very wholesome people. Like, my wife doesn't like these characters either. Uh, so, we're, we're going to see, but... Yeah, I mean, well, actually, we're not going to see, because I'm not going to watch the movie. There, there's nothing in it that would interest me, like Romeo and Juliet. Who cares, honestly? Uh, the, the only thing that they're expecting, is, I guess, like, it's for women to go and see it, because it's Tom Holland. Like, that's the only drive factor, you know? They could have been inclusive and casted, like, some really hot chick with, with big, massive tits, and a wholesome, welcoming attitude, you know, like an anime character type of thing. But no, they're not going to do that. And the story is probably going to be boring as well, won't it? So, yeah, good luck making money, I guess. Let me know what you guys think, though. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.